Welcome back, True Seeker. A lot of people in the last week have asked me if I know if the Ryan Shazir injury is real. And let's just watch the play that he got hurt on real quick, and then I'll show you what I think is interesting about it. Understand that professional sports are full of fake injuries that are part of the scripted narrative of the league. And this man who's about to get injured on this play, he's considered to be the leader of the Steelers' defense. And there he is, number 50, down on the ground, the player who made the tackle. What went wrong there is he went in with his helmet first. He made his impact with his helmet first, so his neck, back, absorbed the shock of the hit. Now, this type of play happens all the time in football, and guys get right up. They're not hurt. But, you know, sometimes you hit just wrong, and you got problems. So here it is, head first, you see? Now, you've seen that play a million times in football, and guy gets right back up. But they're saying that he's hurt really bad. And here's what I find so interesting about it. This happened December 4th, Monday Night Football. Player's Ryan Shazir. And his name's spelled just like this, Ryan Shazir. In reduction gematria and reverse reduction gematria, his name sums to 63. Got perfect symmetry. And what's so fascinating about this is from the day he got hurt to the day of the upcoming Super Bowl, February 4th, 2018, 63 days. The Steelers are going to enter that Super Bowl 6-2 and two if they make it. That's their current Super Bowl record. That game's in Minneapolis, which has gematria 62. Big number. Also interesting about Shazir is that he wears number 50, and Pittsburgh has the gematria of 50. And with regards to the Super Bowl, let me bring out the single reduction method. Super Bowl also equals 50. This single reduction is based on this method right here, using the alphabetic order, reducing each letter to a single digit. In single reduction, the only difference is S is worth 10 instead of 1. That's because S is the 19th letter. And numerology 1 plus 9 is 10. 1 plus 0 was 1. There's no other letter that you have to add together twice to get to a single digit. So, Shazir. He has a connection to Pittsburgh. He has a connection to Super Bowl. His name, from the date of the injury, syncs up with the Super Bowl perfectly. Is it a coincidence? I would say definitely not. Is he really hurt? I would imagine not. You know, I'm sure that play didn't feel good. And I'm sure that that play was actually scripted. And he was probably supposed to go in head first just to make it look bad, you know, for the sequence. So this is the way it works. NFL full of fake injuries. Professional sports full of fake injuries. That said, sometimes people really get hurt. You know what's going to happen. Big men moving fast. Injuries happen. But things like this that are so scripted with the narrative, it looks contrived to me. So for all of you who want my opinion, is, is, it, is his injury real? I don't think so. I don't think so. Your entire NFL is rigged and scripted. That's the point to take home. Been saying all year that I like the Patriots to represent in the Super Bowl, but if I'm wrong about the Patriots, it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers. And made that point in April, right, with the news of Andy Rooney's death. Again, this is the 98th season of the NFL. Andy Rooney died 98 days before his 85th birthday. This is the Steelers' 85th season. National Football League equals 85. You ever seen that movie Jerry Maguire, the player Tidwell... 85 using the alphabetic order. He wears number 85, and not coincidentally. The Cardinals, one of the two original teams in the National Football League. Cardinals and Bears, the original teams. They used to be the Chicago Cardinals. Tidwell plays for the Cardinals in that movie. And by the way, he plays in Phoenix, Arizona in that movie. 85, National Football League. 85, somebody pointed out the Keystone State, 85, Steelers and Eagles in their 85th season, and both leading the NFL 
after week 14. Remember, both of their records, 11 and 2 after week 14. And again, Super Bowl's got that Gematria of 112 and 41. Also, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., West Coast, every Wednesday. 9 p.m. to midnight if you're on the East Coast. Every Wednesday, TFR Live. If you can't listen live, you can always listen for free to the archived episode afterwards. I'll leave the link down below. Tomorrow night for the first hour, going to have Chad and Kevin do the show. Again, those are the two men that used to have me on as a guest. They recently lost their radio program. So when they want to do a show, I'm going to let them use the first hour on my show. They've done it once before. They're going to do it again tomorrow night. All right, Truth Seeker. Till next time.